I noticed something in the packaged version of the app. First, my game wasn't starting on the starter screen at all. To fix that, head to Project Settings, then click the Maps and Modes menu. From here you can change the game default map, which is my start screen level. It's important to get the exact name of the level, so for me it's easier just to go into the level folder and copy down the names so that way I know exactly which level to pick from the drop down because the starting content does provide a starting level. No need to save, just close the settings window and we're good. The next thing I noticed is that every time I need to activate the mouse I have to click. I wasn't sure if this was an issue with playing the game in the editor or something I could fix. Something that you can't see is that when the level starts, I have to click before the left and right arrows will work, and I have to click before the mouse actually has an effect on the UI widgets. Turns out it's an easy fix. From the level blueprint, right after the hiding of the mouse cursor, just add the node to set input mode game only. This will ensure the mouse click isn't necessary. I will have to do this for every level, also my widget blueprints need the same thing. Because we're so organized, it's easier to find all of my widget blueprints in the same place. Starting with the game over, locate the event construct node within the blueprint. Make sure to give yourself enough room to add the change. Get the player controller and drag the object pin off to set show mouse cursor and tick the box. Drag the executable pin off to set input mode UI only, and connect up the player controller object to the player controller pin in the set input mode UI only node, and we're good. Now I don't have to click anymore the first time when my level loads, or when my widget blueprints load. Remember to fix this for every instance you need it to, when the level loads, and when you have full screen UI widgets load. For me it's level complete, my three other levels, and I should be golden. I think I can even copy the entire blueprint and just paste it into each level blueprint. It's just a begin play with no variables. I might have been able to set this in the player character as well. But for me, it just makes a touch more sense to do this when the level loads, I think. It's a few more steps, but as you can see, it doesn't actually take all that much time to get it set up properly. And there we have it, that's a wrap for this tiny little demo game. It works in all the ways I really want it to, and now I can zip it, send it to some friends for their honest judgment. Thank you for taking the time with me, and please remember to subscribe.